While we're waiting for the show to begin, we invite you to check out our website by visiting mollyb.com. While we're waiting for the show to begin, we invite you to check out our website by visiting mollyb.com. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Broadcasting live. It's time for Molly B. and Ted Lang. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome, friends. It is Tuesday, and we are back for another live show for all of you. So let's get those hands a clap. The party time. Let's have a party. Bring out the beer and the wine. We'll all get together and all have a real good time. Oh, let's dance the polka, twirling around the floor. 
darling, we're gonna have a polka party with Molly B. Back. Today with you and me. Well, folks, as you see today, we are reversed because we're in a brand new location. So do not turn your TVs around. Nope, don't turn us upside down or look in a mirror. You can enjoy just the way you are. We're live from Wisconsin having a polka party. We're gonna have a polka party with Molly B. That's me. Right here today with you. Roll out 
That's exactly right. We are in Wisconsin and we're in between gigs, having a great time. And I need to tell you what we've been up to recently. So let me start with this. First of all, we are in my parents' garage. Does it look like a garage? No, and you know why? Because we got Mr. Jim Busta. So this is what the garage usually kind of looks like. And right now it doesn't anymore because he did a great job building us a studio. It's one of those things, um, we were downstairs and I came up around eight o'clock. My mom said, your dad left this morning already at 7.30 to go buy some lumber and stuff for your studio tonight. So that is why we are here in this new studio. Oh, new studio. And we even got even a new mobile cam person behind this camera right there that I'm looking at is my brother, Chad. So as I said, we've got a lot of fun things that we have been doing. So. Let's go back one and a half weeks. This is when I was in Harmony, Minnesota with the Jim Busta Band. So that's where I was. And then, but Ted and Josh, Joshua Silas, they were off someplace else. They were with Peach Legal performing in Ohio. Uh, maybe Michigan too, I know for sure Ohio. So that's some from their gigs. And then this last weekend, Ted and I both performed with the Jim Busta Band um, in Iowa. And here's some little dancing friends we met when we were down in Iowa. Then, of course, I always have to have fun. I play hard, but I work hard. So um, that's Jaden jumping off the high dive as a chicken. And uh, <laughs> that, that's what I would have looked like if someone would have recorded me as I was jumping off the high board, because that's just what I did as a kid. You know, somewhere we have a video of you uh Diving off, jumping off a waterfall. This is true. When we were in Hawaii, I was determined to find a waterfall. Thank you to Mary Freeling. She said, okay, now we're going to do it. And so we did. And uh, her and I both jumped off this waterfall. And after I did it, I thought, ooh, I could have killed myself right there. If I would have jumped too far or too little, I would have hit some major rocks. But I didn't. I'm here today to tell the tale. You know what that would have made me? A widower. Oh, well, sad, yes, yeah. <laughs> but an unemployed accordionist. That's the oh, way that would have worked, unfortunately. Oh, golly. Okay, so we've been, ha like I said, having fun in the Midwest, Ohio, playing with different groups. But we're come, we've come together today because Ted is now feeling healthy again. That's right. I uh, was diagnosed with the flu last week um, and uh, spent three days uh, pretty much doing nothing. Yeah, so he slept almost literally well, 30... I was traveling between two rooms in the house, but other than that, I was doing a lot of nothing. So, yeah, almost 36 hours straight, he was in bed, and then he got up, I'm like, oh, he's feeling better. He sat down in a chair, put his feet up, didn't even recline the chair, and fell right back asleep. I'm like, oh, dear. Yeah, I went to the doctor, and I asked him for a note, and uh, he said I could get you a note to, to do whatever you want, and I said, well... Uh, Write a note that says that I should not be carrying any equipment and what? that uh, my wife should be doing that for me. And uh, he says, like uh, sorry, I know Molly B. I'm not doing that to her. Yes, and he does know Molly B. Crazy. Thank you, Dr. Lehman. Okay, it's time for a waltz. Oh, it's yeah? a song, song we've never done before. It's one called Perfect. The Morning Glow Waltz. <laughs>
right, it's time to hear Ted sing a number. Oh, no. Yes, we learned this one about <coughs> 10 years ago. I'm still ago. sick, Molly. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not, Ted. I don't know if we've ever done this song during the live show or not. I... I if we did, it was a special live show, not a Tuesday one. So we're going to feature Ted on a vocal. It's one called Angeline Be Mine. What'd you think of that? Ted on the vocal. Good job, Ted. How Why long aren't you there been any songs written for Molly? Well, because I'm waiting for you to write me a song about Molly. Can it sound like uh, Angeline Be Mine? <laughs> Just change the words. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to slow the tempo down for you. This is a song that when we were in South Dakota, we found ourselves playing, actually, I think three of the four nights that we performed out there. Um, it's, it's a nice slow one. It sounds great when we have Josh on guitar playing with us, but we weren't going to make him come all the way to Wisconsin just for an evening of fun. So we, we'll see him again up in New Ulm, Minnesota. So speaking of New Ulm, that is where we are going to be this upcoming weekend. Here's a couple pictures when we were there just two years ago. We weren't there last year. So we think you should all come join us. It's for the Bavarian Blast. Once again, that's in New Ulm, Minnesota. <laughs> yes. And then on Sunday evening, we end our time in Peterson, Minnesota. And that was from 2019. That's our picture from Peterson. All right, Ted, are we ready to try this one? We'll give it a try. All right, cue that.
celebrants out there from two for two weeks we have Aubrey who's turning 11 happy birthday Aubrey happy birthday to Kathy and Carol Ralph Bev Marion Jerry Wendy and Robert also happy birthday to Ed Elaine Doc Betty Ken Brad Beverly Joyce Peter and Brandon happy birthday to Rayanne Sandy Shirley, Mark, Stuart, Linda, Jan. Oh, speaking of Jan, here's our friend Jan. He's from the Netherlands. He's been watching us since we started. I think he owns all our shirts and is a big supporter. So thank you, Jan, and happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Jeff Glinka, and happy birthday to Jessica Mathis. I got another photo for that one, too. That's me and Jessica Sweet, sweet gal from New Braunfels. And I saw this one on Facebook. I grabbed it so you all could see her as well. And happy birthday to Andrew, to Mary, to Jesse, to Phil, John, Richard, Glenn, Kathy, and Rita, and Art. So for all you birthday celebrants, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to all of you. Happy birthday to all of you. A few months ago, Ted and I rode on a plane, and not just any plane. This plane is called That's All Brother. All right, so this is from that day when we were actually on that plane. Once again, this is That's All Brother, um, the plane that led uh, the Airborne Division for Normandy. 
and then drop those parachuters. Showed that one already. Here's one of us flying through the sky again. Here's uh, Ted and myself and David Barrio. And this is the parachuters because later that day, we actually watched them parachute out of That's All Brother and two more planes from World War II. So golly, that was a really, really good experience. And the reason I tell this to you, because this is a museum, I, it's like a museum, um, not even on wheels, it's a museum in the air, and uh, you can ride on this historic plane. It's an amazing experience. I suggest it for anyone that can do it. You can be on the plane whether you're five or, or you know, 105, you can, you can be on this and enjoy this and, and learn um, about That's All Brother and World War II and that invasion and everything that goes with it. So I want to let you know they're going to be in um, Iowa in July, and uh, they're going to be in Kalamazoo. Evansville, Indiana, I believe, is where it's going to be. And also in Oshkosh is where you can experience That's All Brother. Once again, um, just check that out. They have a website. It's thatsallbrother.com. And um, you can learn about it there and how you can enjoy this ride just the same as we got to. So once again, thank you to David Barrio. And um, thank you also, I always have to say, thank you to our vets. All right. You ready? To We're go? making some adjustments here uh, okay. as we... As you know, this is the first time that we've done this on the road in this capacity. We've yeah. we've done it before where we just used the iPad, but uh, this is the first time with uh, uh, all the audio stuff that we drug along with us to uh, see how this works. And and so uh, I'm getting uh, word from Dana that uh, he's pointed out a couple things, so we'll see hey. if these adjustments that we made make any difference or not. Yeah, and we said that our email... Oh, by the way, if you are not signed up for our emails, you should get them. So... Go to mollyb.com and sign up for our email blast. Once again, mollyb.com, and there you can sign up for our emails, and we will keep you informed. Um, so, like, tonight our email said, you know, we're at a new location, and uh, we're going to do our best, but this is our, new ch you know, our first try at going at something like this. And if we need to cancel, we'll try to let you know on there. If anything exciting is happening, once again, we will let you know on mollyb.com. I mentioned our friend Jan. Yes, Jan from the Netherlands. Not Jan Janssen from Wisconsin, is it? No. Okay. Here he is once again. So he wants to hear the rooster song. Ron, oh. uh, Jan oh. Zuhl of Zeist, Netherlands, turning 60 years old. Here's the rooster song. I had some chickens. No eggs would they lay. <laughs> I had some chickens. No eggs would they lay. One day this rooster came in our yard and took those chickens out behind the barn. They're laying eggs now, just like they used to, ever since their rooster came along and rooster. They're laying eggs now, just like they used to, ever since their rooster came in our yard. I had some milk cows, no milk would they give. I had some milk cows, no milk would they give. One day this rooster came in our yard and took those milk cows out behind the barn. They're making eggnog just like they used to ever since that rooster came along and rooster. They're making eggnog just like they used to ever since that rooster came in our yard. I had a gas pump, no gas would it give. Don't even do it. Yeah, okay. I had a gas pump, no gas would it give. It must have been from the from flu. Last week, right? Yeah. yeah. One day this rooster came in our yard <coughs> and took that gas pump No. out behind the barn. It's giving shell gas just like it used to. Ever since that rooster came along and gooster, it's giving shell gas just like it used to. Ever since that rooster came in our yard, I had a gum tree, no gum would it give. I had a gum tree, no gum would it give. One day this rooster came in our yard and took that gum tree. 
out behind the barn. It's giving chicklets just like it used to. Ever since that rooster came along and goosed her. It's giving chicklets just like it used to. Ever since that rooster came in our yard. I had a plum tree. A plum tree? Yes, whose plums didn't work. I had a plum tree whose plums didn't work. One day this rooster came in our yard <coughs> and took that plum tree out behind the barn. It's growing eggs lax just like it used to ever since that rooster came along and goosed her. It's growing eggs lax just like it used to ever since that rooster came in our yard. Now you said your friend is from the Netherlands. I did. Okay, I'm sure we have friends that are watching in other continents yes. all across and countries all across the world. And on their farm, they could potentially have a monkey who Daddy. just couldn't swing. <laughs> I had a monkey who just couldn't swing. <laughs> One day this rooster came in our yard and took that really, really, really super excited monkey out behind the barn. <laughs> That's really good. Thank you. She swings exactly the way she used to ever since that rooster came along and goosed her. She swings exactly the way she used to Ever since every stone came in our yard, we had a shotgun. Shotgun. No shots would it give. We. we you ever heard a shotgun? You said no shots. Oh, okay. We had a shotgun. No shots would it give. No shots. It has a silencer on it. Yes. One day this rooster came in our yard <laughs> and took that shotgun out behind the barn. <laughs> We're having rooster just like we used to ever since that rooster. Ever, two, ever since those two met in our backyard. Having rooster just like we used to ever since those two met in our backyard. Well, we're now going to give you a song that comes off that country recording. Once again, that's Molly B. Country. And you can get that on mollyb.com. Yes, you can order it there. You can order 10 copies if you would like. But mo from mollyb.com, here's a song called Make the World Go Away.
to Elvin and Alice, Doc and Agnes, Bob and Madeline, Gil and Pat, Carolyn and Clayton, Dana and Toddis, and happy anniversary to Ken and Donna, Lisa and Gary, Chester and Mary, Aaron and Shoshana, Dick and Mary. Happy anniversary to all of you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. To Happy you. anniversary to all of you. All of you. Happy anniversary to you oh, and many more. Nice, Ted. Thank well, you. We're going to have you sing a song right now. Are we? For these anniversary couples. Here's I Just Want to Dance With You. Little George Strait number. It's one that Ted sounds pretty good on, if you ask me. Well, nobody was asking you, but oh, sorry. do I sound okay on this one, Molly? You sound excellent. Oh, <laughs> oh goodness. I don't want to be the kind to hesitate, be too shy, way too late.
with you Hold you in my arms once more That's what they invented dancing for I just want to dance with you 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 Starts with T, ends with T, and has T in it. I don't know. A teapot. <laughs> hey Xavier, how do pigs talk without saying a word? Using their hooves. No, with using swine language. <laughs> hey Jaden. What happens if you throw a blue rock into the Red Sea? It turns purple. Nope. It gets wet. <laughs> hey, Xavier. Why is it so easy for chicks to talk? I don't know. You tell me. Because talk is cheap. All 
walked up and whispered. I leaned on and listened to the request that she made. Do you know, do you know you are my sunshine? She asked so sweet and tenderly. Do you know, do you know you are my sunshine? And it looks like you're always gonna be. as quick as the song that she asked for chasing my sunshine away uh, yeah each and every night time i'm searching every crowd for her face she was gone just as quick as the song that she asked for chasing my sunshine away but someday when i hear finally look down and see her just what I'm gonna say. Do you know, do you know you are my sunshine? She asked so sweet and tenderly. Do you know, do you know you are my sunshine? And it looks like you're always gonna be. One more time. Do you know, do you know you are my sunshine? She asked so sweet and tenderly. Good news, folks. We have brand new shirts. They're Polka, established 1834. And you can get them any color, any style you want. So if you like long sleeves, three-quarter sleeves, if you like sweatshirts, if you like V-necks, if you like tank tops, this is a time to order them. All orders must be in by this Saturday night. So what day is that, Ted? Uh, let's see here. Today's the 13th, 14, 14th. 15, 16, 17, 18. So the 18th, right? right? I don't know. No, it's the 17th. Could be. It's got to be the 17th. Okay, so you need to be there on the seven, uh, by 17th, uh, that evening, you need to order this shirt if you don't want just a red shirt. Anything else you have to order ahead of time to get that $15 price. Uh, for the shirts, and of course, are a little bit more if you get a sweatshirt. But that's not all, folks. But wait, there's, there's more. more. Check out this sporty shirt. Can you see that? That's you, Ted. Wow, Can I look see? really animated. Animated is right. Cartoonish so almost. These are also our new, new shirts. Once again, through Saturday, you can get them any way you want them. And then after Saturday, you get a gray shirt, but they're fifteen dollars, uh, and uh, we will be shipping them out. It'll be about three weeks, though, because we take all the special orders, we gather them, we send them in. They got to get shipped to us, and then we got to ship them out. So give us a little patience on that. But once again, you can get all these new shirts on mollybee.com. Wonderful, Molly. Thank you. Very nice to have uh, some new apparel yeah. in the store. So that way when you come out and see us this summer, you can be uh, really styling and, and everybody's going to realize that you actually really know us. Yes. Because, you know, you're the you're getting first dibs on these shirts that nobody else is getting mm -hmm. right now because we aren't selling them at the engagements. Not yet. yet. No. So. so you can get them before anybody else does. That's right. And uh, speaking of those engagements, we do want to remind you, of course, uh, this week, uh, we've got some more gigs. We're going to be we tomorrow. Do. We're going to be performing with the Jim Booster Band at the Winnishik County Fair. Is that correct? That is correct. And I got pictures to show you of that one. Oh, yeah? I always got pictures, though I uh, try to at least, right? Did you have a rooster in any of those pictures? No. No. Monkey? Okay, I think. Here we go. That's a picture. That's where you sit. It's a big old grandstand. 
So, and we're there one to three, Decorah, Iowa, at the Winnishik County Fair. That is tomorrow, Wednesday. That's right. Uh, that's in the afternoon, so we hope to see some of you down there. As Molly said, we'll be playing with the Jim Busta Band. And, of course, all of our future dates are available on mollyb.com. Yeah, so check them out. It's super fun to be out and about and finding how many people are actually watching our YouTube channel, how many people heard about, about us by watching our YouTube channel, including all the little ones. Yes. Yeah, it's really fun. So yes. we really appreciate when you come and say, hi, we watch you every week. So. Yes. Instead of every Wednesday and Saturday, everybody's saying, hey, we watch you every Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. uh, make sure you spread the word because uh, this is a lot different than that other show. What does Molly B. have in common with Bob Dylan, Prince, John Denver, Judy Garland, Eddie Cochran, Lori Line, Babe Wagner, Wee Willie, Johnny Helgett, and Steve Moran? They are all inductees into the Minnesota Music Hall of Fame, and... Uh, that is the big news. Molly was uh, just notified that she will be inducted into the Minnesota Music Hall of Fame coming up. Yes. Um, when is that? Well, I'm a 2021 inductee, but the ceremony doesn't take place till April 22nd of 2022. So they said, go ahead and announce it. Tell all your friends, tell all your fans. And I got to tell you, being inducted to the Minnesota Hall of Fame is one thing, but having your husband write a sweet, sweet post on Facebook about you tops it. I got to tell you, Ted, that was really nice. He did. Shucks. He wrote a really nice uh, post on Facebook, and that was really sweet of you. But so. you know, Molly, it, it really, uh, you know, it really is uh, one of those things that I don't think everybody really realizes. I mean, they're, the folks that are watching us here each week, I think they have some idea um, that. You are just who you are, and it doesn't matter if you're on stage or off stage. 
And, and that's one of the really neat things, I think, about you. Of course, you're incredibly talented. I think you are, are by far, um, you know, one of the most talented people that has ever graced polka music stages through the years. And uh, you have a certain charisma about you. And you just do a great job. Thanks, so you're, this is so well deserved. So congratulations, Thank Molly. Thank you very much. Thank you. At this time, we're going to play a song for Richard Iverson. He wanted to hear a song that um, he was... He had heard Willie Nelson sing, and i, I got to be honest, I think Willie Nelson was the first person I heard singing the song as well. And then Sarah Vaughn and a few other jazz artists out there. I like this song, so let's, let's do this as a um, kind of a jazzy thing. We aren't going to use Alesis on this no? number. Ow, okay. So I'm going to have you just kind of play some uh, guitar over there a little bit. Got I'm going to do some accordion stuff here, Kay. and uh, we'll start together, and hopefully we end together. That's, that's always a good goal. We're here. We set up. Yes. We had all this great construction work done by you. I uh, know. The one and only Jim Busta. Papa Jim. Yes. Bow, yeah. Uh, um, Jim the Builder. Kind of like Bob the Builder. Yes. Remember that show? Yes. Can he build it? Yes, he can. <laughs> and, and, yep, Treehouse uh, Builder Extraordinaire as oh, well. Oh, I do have a picture of a treehouse. Have you seen it recently, folks? Here it is. <laughs> That's a treehouse? It, yes. It's a house amongst the trees. Does it have plumbing? Yes. Does it have electric? Yes. Does it have air conditioning? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, but you know what? After today? <laughs> it may. It may? Uh-huh. It totally wow. may. That's really neat. Uh, yeah, so uh, thanks to uh, Jim and Mary Lou, our uh, 
our parents for uh, letting us crash here. We stay here a lot of time while we're on the road, and uh, you know it helps us so we don't have that long eight-hour drive back to Ohio. So uh, Mary Lou keeps us well fed, and uh, Jim is always, they're both always bustling around. I don't know yes. how you guys do that. If uh, They must be on speed. Well, we got home the other night, and it was about two, between two and three in the morning. Dad finally went to bed. Up the next day at eight, I'm like, you could have slept in, you know that? And he's like, no, I'm good. I'm going to go work in my tree house. And so that's what he did. Amazing. Thank yes. you guys very much for everything. We yes. really appreciate it. Well, folks, I'm getting some news that I don't really like, and it says that uh, that it's buffering a lot tonight, that the feed isn't as good as it has been in the past, and uh, something we kind of knew going in tonight that could be the case. So we do want to apologize, and please know we really, really are trying our best. Like I said, we started at 7.30 this morning setting up this set, and um, we'll always continue to improve anywhere and anyhow um, or any way we can. Um, but we thank you for sticking with us tonight, and um, we hope you come back next week and all the following weeks. And like I said, we're always trying to do our best to make it better, and this is our first time using this space. Um, Ted hadn't even showered like 30 minutes before the show. I mean, just because we And I really needed day. to well, in a bad way. I wasn't going to say that. Well, that's true. <laughs> it's true. Okay. So we're going to wind things up for you here this we evening. Are, okay. Yeah, you know what? Uh, so yeah. that way we can... Uh, kind of troubleshoot some of the stuff and get ready for next week. And of course, that uh, sounds good. we do have to head to the Winnesheck County Fair yeah. bright and early tomorrow. Sounds and, good. And uh, out to New Ulm, Minnesota for the rest of the weekend. So here we go. We're going to wind things up with the polka medley for you here this evening. And thank you all for joining us. And of course, a reminder to tune in next Tuesday as we will uh, hopefully uh, continue to uh, make some improvements here and yes. see what we can do about all of that good stuff. But thank you once again for joining us. Uh, our schedule is available on mollyb.com. We hope to see you out at a dance somewhere. All right. Here's one called Doodly Doo. Sweet. 
cielo Když jde o postýlí v Prahu Slon se zbytělo A my jsme upajeli A dobře jsme si měli A my jsme upajeli A dobře jsme si měli Když jde o postýlí v Prahu Slon se zbytělo Když mi opastili šajny, slon se zbytělo. Když mi opastili šajny, slon se zbytělo. A my jsme upajeli, a dobře jsme si měli. A my jsme upajeli, a dobře jsme si měli. Když mi opastili šajny, slon says me Thank you, everybody, for joining us this week. Special thanks to Jim and Mary Lou Busta, Chad Busta, Kennedy Busta, Molly Busta. And Blaine. the Busta boys. That's right. Thank you all. Have a great week. We look forward to seeing you back here next week, same time, same place. And if not, uh, then uh, maybe as early as this weekend. That's right. Decora, New Alm, and Peterson. Take care. Good night. God bless.
The summer of 2021 is here and our summer tour is about to begin. If you are healthy and feel comfortable coming out to join us, we are ready to see you and perform for all our friends and fans again. So consider joining us in Jefferson City, Litchfield, Wessington Springs, Leola, Pickstown, Baltic, Aurora, Miller, New Alm, Peterson, Morton, Jackson, Grand Rapids, Norwood Young America, Benton Harbor, Hamler, Grand Island, Edgar, New Braunfels, Houston, West and Lubbock. You can also see me, Molly B, with my dad's band, the Jim Booster Band in Minnesota, Iowa, and Wisconsin. For more and complete information about our upcoming shows, visit our website, mollyb.com. That's M-O-L-L-I-E-B.com. Join your friends for our Freedom Polka Cruise 2022, January 22nd through the 29th, 2022, with Jimmy Stir and his orchestra and Molly B and Squeezebox, Lenny Gmolka and the Chicago Push, Neil Zunker and the Music Connection, from Texas, Mark Collada and Texavia, the group Europa plus Jim Busta. Leaving from Fort Lauderdale, we'll be visiting St. Thomas, St. Martin, Princess Kays, and back into Fort Lauderdale aboard the beautiful New Sky Princess. Prices start at only $999 per person, and that includes some spectacular savings. You'll receive a $700 per person value in amenities, including a drink package, free gratuities, plus free Wi-Fi. If you're a veteran, you'll receive an additional $100 on board credit. You'll have dance classes throughout the week with Matt and Elaine and Randy and Ashley. Keith Strauss will be your MC for the week. Sign up right now by sending a $450 per person deposit to United Polka Artists, Box 1, Florida, New York, 10921. Call 1-800-724-0727. if you've noticed but we have some new molly b shirts you can get these at mollyb.com with various colors sizes and you can get one for 15 or two for 30. <laughs> just go to mollyb.com to get molly b music merchandise and more and tell them the booster boys sent you <laughs> 